Hello, this is a preview of our 5th of September general sale at the Granary Sale Rooms, which is next Wednesday, and we've set the room up and catalogued. It's all ready to go online now, so we'll have a quick look round and see what's in the sale. Uh, it's full on all three floors as last month, probably not quite as much furniture, not quite crammed floor to ceiling this time, but there's still 1,500 lots to get through. So we'll have a quick look round, and starting in the central furniture aisle, and we've got Next to me there's these interesting um, old oak filing drawers which are quite um, fashionable things, uh, probably, I don't know, kitchen items here, there's little engineer's drawers here as well, and they've all got interesting things inside them as well, <laughs> it's a broken pottery, <laughs> there's lots of those, there's a, there's a, um, a naval sextant there, still a usable instrument. Um, what else we got? Crusty old bottles of wine in a very nice um, wicker crate as well. Look at that, I haven't seen one of those before. So a double sided, what's that, a 12 bottle picnic carrier with um, some interesting old bottles of wine in there as well. Some Margot Bordeaux bottled in cork. That's interesting. So that's all one lot there. What's that going to be? £100 probably for that collection. I think the basket's worth that. Um, lots of furniture all around us here. Actually, I noticed that very nice dresser just over there. That's, that's a very good quality oak dresser. Probably a 1920s or 30s reproduction of an 18th century dresser, but very good quality one. And a monk's bench on the end of that row as well. Doors. Always easy things to sell. <coughs> and a Victorian clerk's desk. And the usual butcher's block. And Georgian chest on chest with a pond yacht on the top. That's quite nice, isn't it? We've uh, got the Antiques Road Trip coming to film here again uh, for this sale as well. So that's the third time this year they'll have been filming. So uh, we're obviously in favour with them at the moment. Um, we've got a Victorian Davenport here, which is a burr walnut desk. Um, it's in quite nice original condition as well. And they make a fraction of what they used to make. I mean, that's a very good quality desk, but really just purely ornamental. It's probably sort of two to three hundred pounds. And that model would have been closer to a thousand, sort of 15 years ago, I should think. Underneath it, something far more fashionable is um, a rosewood coffee table and there's the paperwork for this one so this is from Design Addict and the price of this one <coughs> excuse me is £2,150 quite something is it uh, we'll just have a look around these tables just around here so quite a few interesting things here going past the sort of silver and jewellery cabinets and some interesting watches in there as well Victorian silver pocket watches and um, Quite a few little interesting things in there as well. And then coming down the table here, this is nice, it's quite a poignant item, like this. So this is a some sort of flute, or piccolo maybe. So it's original leather case. Now the case is stamped J Hodgkins 1916, and the flute as well we can just find it, has, um, has a stamp on the end, which is, where is that? So this little mark here, this arrow here, signifies that it's a military issue item. So that is the original flute to go in that case from the First War period. So this is a, a military issued flute. I just think that's a really interesting item. I just haven't seen those with that uh, military arrow before. Um, and also along the tables here, we've got a <laughs> stuffed cobra. That's a complicated item for taxidermy classes. And it's uh, an albino, which makes it even more interesting. <laughs> Another item I've never seen before. A very nice Victorian skeleton clock there. Uh, it is certainly a, a little bit before 1900, that one. And that should be sort of 100 to 150 pounds. And then 
lots of interesting albums of postcards and some lovely Victorian family. Look at the quality of that leather work on the on that album there. This one underneath here. So this is one group of albums, and two of these are full of um, Victorian family photographs. So just a completely original collection of photos there. So three albums full in one lot, and they're again going to be a hundred pounds probably for the group. Bargain, aren't they really? Um, got a replica sword here commemorates the 900th anniversary of the Tower of London. So it was produced in 1978 and it's a really beautifully made Wilkinson's sword with a silver plaque in here. And it comes with this wall mounting for it as well. And then next to it, oh this is interesting, very stylish vase here. So this is by company underneath here it's stamped w wmf which is a very well-known um, factory so from Württemberg, and they used to produce metalwork and glass very very high quality art nouveau items so this would be sort of 1910 1915 and it's extremely stylish very collectible and um that one should be sort of 80 to 100 pounds um got some very old vintage um tin plate clockwork Railway here, um, Hornby train sets in their original boxes. That's yeah. three lots of model railway here, and then there's some more um, Mamod live steam powered items here. There's a Roadster, they're always popular things, and these are lovely. That's a steam powered locomotive there, the North Star. That's a Top quality steam engine there. And then we've got the rocket next to it as well, which is a wood and well, a wood framed steam powered locomotive. They're nice things, aren't they? And next to it, there's a lovely um, old wall mounted restaurant menu card um, display there, which is nice. That's all in brass, and that'll be 1900 to 1910. Well, that's quite a fun thing to put outside your dining room. And um, there's Edison phonograph there as well with boxes of wax cylinders. And there's the original lid for it. So what's that? Uh, about 1905, that um, Edison player. No no trumpet, unfortunately, that go, that fits on top. So uh, you find yourself another trumpet. <laughs> uh, loads more things on the tables along here. Air rifles and uh, old hat tins and cigar blocks, <laughs> more swords. Plenty to look through on these tables, and these shelves behind are all full of items as well. Hundreds of things there. Just a few interesting things in the cabinets here that are worth looking at. That is a very nice Victorian desk clock and barometer that, um, and on the other side you've got the thermometer as well that's lovely isn't it and this is a marble base that's a good little desk item there and that should be another hundred pounds or so uh, oh this is lovely so this is um, a Victorian pocket, uh, pocket telescope look at this seven drawer telescope so it holds almost flat this is ivory with gold inlay, and it's got the maker on here as well, uh, which I can't read. It's absolutely tiny <laughs> writing, but it's a London maker. Well, that's beautiful, isn't it? Probably originally had a very nice quality case, leather case for that to fit in. But... That's magnificent. And uh, next to it, we've got uh, Victorian paperweights, which are specimen hardstone inset. They call this Pietra Dura, or hardstone. There's another one there with roses. So these are Italian, sort of late 19th century items. And just have a quick look over at the back here. A bit more, a bit more furniture. <laughs> lots, lots more over the back here as well. And this is just something else that caught my eye, which is, um, this is by Heels. So 
there's the whole bedroom suite here at Solid Oak, absolutely top quality Art Deco bedroom suite. So we've got a bookcase here, wardrobe, dressing tables, side tables, bedside table, chairs, it's the whole, the whole lot in one go there. And they all have this, which is the little ivory plaque here, the heels plaque there. I think the plaques are worth as much as the furniture on, on these. And then we'll just go down a bit further down these rows here. There's a very nice Victorian pedestal desk there behind you. Good quality mahogany desk. That should be two or three hundred pounds or so, I should think. I think these are great as well. So these are 19th century um, Corinthian columns. So they need some restoration. But here are the here are the capitals for them. So very ornate. And these are all. We've seen, had a few of these recently that are um, just composition, but these are wood. Need some restoration, but they'll be fantastic architectural items when they're done. And then behind me is a, a vaulting horse. This is one of the items that they brought in from the Antiques Road Trip for us this time. There's um, one challenge to sell that next week, but they're usually quite popular things, and I think that'll, that'll sell all right. So... Um, We'll see with that one. So this sale is next Wednesday. Uh, start, starts at nine o'clock in the morning. It'll go on all day. So the viewing is Saturday from nine till one. Uh, it's on Monday from nine till five and Tuesday from nine till seven. And we open at eight on the morning on the Wednesday um, with the TV cameras here as well. So please come and have a look. It's all online now on the website and everything is illustrated. Thank you very much.